I designed the perfect raft for chapter 3. Hi friends, and welcome back to Raft. With chapter 3 hopefully right around the corner, there's a lot of people who are probably interested in starting a new survival world to ease back into the rafting experience and prepare for all of the new content. So I designed a raft for people who want a fully automated and aesthetic raft with all of the bells and whistles that you could possibly want in less than 100 foundations that can easily be built over time as you gain access to new materials and machines. This design has a full animal area complete with automatic watering, a great storage room, two engines complete with a full biofuel setup to reach maximum raft speeds, and so much more. Plus, it looks like a tugboat. So let's talk about this perfect chapter three raft layout. Let's start off with a quick tour of the raft, then after that I'll give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to create it if you want to use this design for yourself. Also, a lot of these ideas were refined live by my Twitch chat, so come hang out with us if you want to see more of this style of content. This whole raft was designed live on stream, so thank you so much for everyone who joined me for that whole adventure. But on with the tour. So up front, obviously, we have our sail, we have some engine pipes that connect downstairs, and we have a lovely animal pen that is fully automatic and will continue to be watered indefinitely by all of our lovely sprinklers. Of course, we have an antenna out here. We have two more out back with some additional unused space for storage and plenty of room to add other things out back. Inside, we have pretty much everything you could ever need in a cabin. So your receiver, engine controls, doing wheel, all that fun stuff, research table, cooking, and of course, a lovely place to live. Downstairs, you've got automated farming, plenty of smelter room. Of course, that same water setup that I said connects down there. And we've got the same on this side. We've got a nice compact storage room complete with plenty of storage and some other additional features. And then we've got engines that are fully automated with double biofuel, fuel tank. Of course, you can make this a battery charger, but we'll go into that later. Paint mill complete with all of this good stuff. And this is all fully automatic complete with exit and entry. So that's what the raft looks like. Now let's get into how to make it. As for the tutorial section of this video, I've broken it down into four major sections. I'd recommend watching at least through the piping sections so that you can see why certain things are laid out in the way that they are before you attempt to follow the video in your own world. It'll just make your own life a little bit easier as you try and figure out why the raft is structured in this particular way. But let's begin with the basic structure. To start, you're going to want a 13 long by 7 wide foundation with rounded corners. On whatever end you decide to make the front of your raft, add two more rows in a triangle formation. There should be one central square at the top of your triangle. Here is where I would recommend placing a total of 10 collection nets if you want those. From here, place two half walls on all of the green sections, leaving the red squares empty. The red square at the back should be a door, and the three long gap is where your engines will eventually go. The two red squares at the front, you can choose from two major options, either an upside down triangle with half walls on top with a door next to it, or you could simply just place the doors here. Personally, I prefer just the door, so that's what I'll be showing in the video. On the triangle part of the front, add two layers of normal roofing to bring it up to the average wall height, then fill in your floor. This can be done using the pillar glitch, or you could do it with horizontal pillars once chapter 3 is released. In the interior, on the square closest to the middle of the raft from that three long engine gap from earlier, place a half wall, then fill in a ramp shape using triangle walls. Do the same ramp shape with one square in between them on the other side. Add a four piece on the half wall level, then place two half stairs, making sure to cut out the two required four pieces above you so you can get upstairs. On the last square of the three long engine gap, Place a two tall half wall and one upside down triangle wall to create an internal arch. At the end of the staircase, place one door, then turning the corner, do a two long, two tall half wall, and repeat this on the other side of the staircase. Then connect the back with half walls. In the cubby you just created, add two interior walls along the back. On the outside of your raft, add some scaffolding foundations to the side of your raft, leaving some space for your engines. Here, you can build an engine cap with some roofs, triangle walls, and half walls in the shape of an upside-down U. 
Do not destroy these scaffolding foundations yet because you'll need them again in the future. Repeat this engine cap and scaffolding on the other side. Then upstairs, add in a railing around your staircase and ring the outside of your raft with rails. To build the cabin, find the center of the back of the raft, then go two squares in. You'll need one window, then a wall on either side. Then add another wall going diagonally out with one more wall next to it, and then a door. Personally, I think it looks better if these face inwards, but that doesn't affect anything too much. From the side of your door, add three bottom half walls, one diagonal half wall going back in, and then three more bottom half walls across your raft. Mirror this around on the other side to meet your other door. From the door, add triangles going directly down on either side, then half windows connecting it all the way around. Place a roof all the way around the cabin with diagonal roofing on the corners, and add one ring of flooring inside the roof, then cap it off with a little hat. And then you'll set up the animal area with five railings, one away from your window. Then you'll add one rail, one half pillar, a rope fence, another pillar, and then two railings. The front end of the animal pen will be two railings, one pillar, one rope fence, one pillar, and then two more railings. And then mirror the left side over to the right side. And that completes the basic structure of your raft. Next is adding in all of the piping to make your raft function. Add a fuel tank along the back left of your storage room, and then place in the engines in the three wide gap that we left for them earlier. And then you'll connect your engines to the fuel tank with fuel pipes. For water, you'll need to remove one square of foundation in between the collection nets at the front of your raft and place your purifier. This is designed for the electric purifier, but you can always add this stuff as you get further along into your game. Once your purifier is down, you can always add a triangle foundation back in to reduce the chances of you falling into the water. But behind your purifier, add in a half pillar and a platform on either side, then bring your water pipes out the back of the purifier and one level up and use these platforms to bring them out on either side. Then you can bring them back down to foundation level and stake them out the door. These do need to be placed on foundations initially, but you can destroy the foundations and replace them with the collection nets immediately after. Facing the front of the raft, the left side has a slightly different pipe layout than the right side, so go all the way back to your engine cap, then up to the level of your upper floor. Destroy one roof of your engine cap to bring the water pipe through the cap, then through the door of your cabin. Then add a U-shape around the side of your stairs. Back downstairs, the right side is a lot simpler. Just bring the pipes out to the edge of your engine cap. Upstairs, ring the front of the animal pen around to each rope fence with water pipes. These will connect downstairs via the raised water pipes we made earlier, and that completes all of your piping. Now we're on to adding all of the utilities for your raft. One square in from the interior arch towards the front of your raft, add a sprinkler. Surround it with nine small crop plots, then add three smelters towards the door. Repeat this on the other side. Two squares in front of the stairs, cut a hole in the foundation and add your anchor. You can add in railings to prevent yourself from falling in. In the storage room, fill the cubbies up with chests for optimal storage. Under the stairs, you can add in a small storage on top, then you can have either up to five chests below it, or two chests and a trash can. Around the back of the storage room, destroy one foundation to make space for a paint mill. Again, you can add a triangle foundation afterwards to make it less likely that you'll go for a swim. Then add two biofuel refiners right next to your engine, a fire basket in the corner, then three beehives along the back wall. You could replace two on the right side with a battery charger if you prefer, but the new windmill might make that unnecessary. Add five small crop plots above the refiners and the beehives on either side, and then four more above the paint mill. Upstairs, add a water tank to the left of the stairs, connecting it to your water pipes from earlier. Then, place a receiver in the corner, your engine controls, a steering wheel and a streamer, and then your research table. On the right wall, add your advanced grill and cooking pot next to the door. Out back, place an antenna on either side of your raft, then one more in front of your windows in the animal area. Fill this area in with grass, and then add three sprinklers in front of the rope fences with two tree plots in the front corners. Finally, place a sail at the front of your raft, and now all of your utilities are in place. And now it's time to make your raft look nice. For decoration, you can start by finally getting rid of all of your exterior scaffolding now that all of your water pipes are in place. 
Inside the main area, add three lanterns on either side and two lanterns hanging from the walls in your storage room. Add two more lanterns behind the storage room by the paint mill and the fuel tank. Upstairs, place a lantern on each corner of the animal pen. Inside the cabin, add two lanterns on either side of the front of the cabin. Place a small circle table on the diagonal wall with whatever additional decorations you want. The bedroom you can design however you want, but I used one tall cabinet on the diagonal wall, a bed under the window with cabinets on either side, and lanterns above, and created a small living room with a fireplace and comfy chair. Then bring it to life with whatever paintings, plants, carpets, and other stuff you wanted to show off. And finally, paint everything in whatever colors you want. I designed this to look like a tugboat, hence the black and gray that I used it with the orange highlights, but I liked an interior that was mostly white and blue. This is purely a personal choice, but it really does help bring your raft to the next level. And that is how you build the perfect raft for your own Chapter 3 adventures. Be sure to let me know what you think of this design down in the comments, and if there are any other kinds of builds you'd like to see in the future. This was originally a viewer request, so please know that I do actually read and pay attention to all of your lovely comments. Anyways, that's it for me for now. I hope you enjoyed! Please consider leaving a like if you did, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I hope to see you all again soon, but until then, have a great day.